Hello everyone, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to the channel. And today I will bring you another lens review and this time it's the Carl Zeiss 35mm f2 Biogon. Now I've had the Carl Zeiss 35 Biogon C which is sort of like the little brother of this lens. It's a f2.8 lens and it's being appraised by the community for its sharpness, high contrast, um, but I don't know if it's because at the time I had the silver lens. The Zeiss silver, by the way, never pairs well with silver Leica cameras because it's got a sort of plasticky feel to the silver one. Not sure if it's because of the aesthetics or it's because of the fact that I don't particularly enjoy a super high contrast lens on digital sensors. I really dislike that lens. Despite that, I've always wanted to try its big brother, which is this lens here, the F2 Biogon. It's not as sharp as the C Biogon and it's a little bit less contrasty. And I thought that was exactly what I wanted. So I bought this lens not too long ago. I've taken it to my trip to Japan and gave it a try. The files came out of this lens on film at least is simply stunning. So let's first take a look at those photos. Okay, so yeah, that's how this lens performs on film. Um, but next up, we're going to take a look at its optical quality compared to the classic Leica 35 f2 Summicron aspherical, which is probably a lot of people's first or maybe only lens for their Leica system. And this lens is actually released in 1996, I believe. They did release a revised version of this lens but as far as I know there's no optical quality changes so in effect it's almost a 30 year old design and this Zeiss lens here is released in 2008 so there is a almost a 10 years gap between them and let's see how the optical quality compares on a modern digital sensor let's take a look
All right, so right off the bat, what I noticed is that these two lenses are not as modern as some of the lenses we have today. They're less corrected for all kinds of optical imperfections. That's why we see quite a bit of glow on both of these two lenses when there is extreme highlights. And also in terms of chromatic aberration, purple fringing, again, the Biogon is a little bit better. They have about the same amount of distortion, meaning both are quite good in that respect. And also in terms of um, flare resistance, the Zeiss T coating that they used on this lens is also very amazing. Again, puts it up on top of the Leica in that regard as well. So all in all, being a more modern design, a more modern lens, the Zeiss actually comes up on top in this comparison. But you have to keep in mind that um, when we compare those Voigtlander, new Voigtlander lenses with the Leica, usually the Voigtlander is the smaller lens, but here the Leica is the smaller lens. So if we take off the lens hood and compare these two lenses, you'll see that the Leica is a bit smaller, a bit shorter. They have about the same diameter and in terms of weight, they're also quite similar. So maybe size shouldn't be a deciding factor here, but I feel like in terms of um, the handling, the Leica is a little bit better, unfortunately. The Leica focus ring is smoother. I quite like this concave focus tab on this Leica instead of this little <laughs> knobby on the Zeiss, which I didn't quite enjoy. So the optical quality differences are there, but they're not big, like they're, you have to really push yourself, like really squeeze your eyes to see the difference. If you're not concerned about, you know, how you would use these two lenses, or maybe you prefer the Zeiss implementation of the focus tab, then by all means, just choose the Zeiss lens because like I said, it's better optically. It's also quite a bit cheaper. And I think the T coating is really, really nice. Even just to look at it, there's this purplish reddish hue to it. It's super amazing, like a fine red wine. Also the handling preference here has nothing to do with build quality because the Zeiss is also built very well, just like the Leica. Comes down to personal preference here. Uh, it's either a tie or a wing, depends on how you look at these two lenses. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what are the lenses that you're interested in and I'll possibly bring them on this channel and do a compare review with the Leica glasses. All right, so I guess that's it. I'll see you in the next one.